Hello and um, welcome back to Kilmainham Jail for another one of our Kilmainham Jail on Lockdown videos. We're in uh, the first floor today uh, in the central administration block that runs along the centre of the building, uh, dividing it into east and west. You can just see the, the east wing there and there's that corridor uh, that heads uh, to the, the southern end of the building and then just over here uh, you can see the entrance to uh, the Catholic chapel. So those of you who've been here on a tour uh, should be able to orientate yourself from there. Today, we're mostly going to be talking about um, executions and hangings and condemned cells. And we will be visiting the hang house. Uh, sometimes we will find the hang house to be uh, quite upsetting uh, and it can be triggering for some people. So if you feel it's something that might upset you, uh, maybe best to give the rest of this particular video a miss. Uh, but we're going to start off by visiting uh, what we believe were one of the condemned cells. Um, so on the outside, the door uh, is very similar to uh, the door you would find on a normal cell. But as we open it, you'll see it's a much, uh, much, much larger room, um, a room uh, rather than a cell. Um, and that's because um, before uh, a man or woman was executed, they usually would have had guards with them in the room to make sure uh, that they didn't kill themselves. Uh, that was known as cheating the hangman. And if we look out through this window here, we can see that internal courtyard. Um, and that featured in our first video. And you may remember I mentioned that uh, when the jail first opened in the 1790s, uh, there was a, a building in the middle of that yard which contained four condemned cells. And certainly in the early years of uh, the jail in the 1790s and um, uh, 1810s, there were an awful lot of uh, executions in the jail. But that really started to trail off as the 19th century uh, progressed. Uh, they uh, hanged less and less people. Um, and in fact, in 1865, we had the last public hanging in Kilmainham. Uh, prisoners used to be hanged uh, just over the main entrance to the jail. And in 1865, when you read the uh, uh, the reports, um, it would seem that within the jail they'd almost uh, kind of forgotten a lot of the procedures needed uh, to carry out an execution. Just here you can just see there um, the remnants of the old gas light uh, that would have been in this cell. Um, uh, and uh, prisoners here, you know, they would have had traditions like the night before their execution, they would have got, you know, a, a nicer meal. Um, We'll have a quick look in here. Um, again, this is another one of these cells we believe may have been uh, a condemned cell, but as you can see, can't go in as there's a bit of work going on there, or there was, before uh, everything ground to a halt. And then we're going to come down here to uh, the hang house, which is a very late addition uh, to the jail. Um, these bars, I don't think that they are, they're original and uh, the roof is new. Well, we think this was added sometime um, in the, towards the uh, end of the 19th century um, because after 1865, um, the next uh, executions didn't take place until the 1880s. Um, and, uh, and famously, when the Invincibles were executed here, they actually built a scaffold out in one of the yards. And we will be doing um, a whole uh, special video all about the Invincibles, uh, hopefully next week. Um, but if we just head in here, uh, this um, room is referred to often as the McCann cell or the McCann room. And it contains uh, one of the oldest pieces of graffiti. I've taken off the kind of protective covering that uh, is uh, usually over it and it uh, bears the name Patrick McCann of the County Down, late of the city of Dublin, August 14th, 1798, imprisoned. And there's something else kind of carved underneath it, but um, I'm not sure if that was by Patrick McCann. And Patrick McCann was one of the United Irishmen um, and he's recorded in the prison register as being imprisoned here uh, for treason. Um, thankfully, he's there's also a note there to say that he was uh, discharged. Um, but obviously he was in uh, this room at one point 
maybe because he was a, a political prisoner, um, it wouldn't have been a, a condemned cell, certainly in Patrick McCann's case. Um, on this wall here, actually, we, it might be useful just to see, uh, particularly for you, those of you who've been uh, watching a lot of these videos, these are one of the earliest uh, plans of the jail. Uh, and you can see here, just in the middle, uh, that um, condemned yard and those condemned cells in the middle of it. Um, in terms of where we are now, uh, we are on the first floor. So we will be in this plan here. And we'd be in that uh, room there at the very end. But as you can see, there have been alterations. Um, originally, the, there would have been three windows in this, um, in, in this room, but uh, uh, they've obviously uh, created a corridor outside. Um, but as I said, it gives you a sense as well of what the jail looked like before the east wing was built, um, that the east and west wing very much mirrored each other. Um, again, just to kind of give you a sense of where we are, if you look out this window, you can see um, the east wing, or uh, sorry, the west wing rather, uh, that's the 1916 corridor. Uh, you can just see it just through there. And then if you come out here, you can see certain changes that they had to make. So I think this was probably originally a cell. And then we come out onto the 1916 corridor. So that's it for today. Um, tune in uh, for further videos uh, while we're on lockdown. Okay, uh, stay safe and talk to you soon.